If you guys follow the channel, you know that I like the Trade Desk and Snowflake. I've been bullish on these stocks, these companies for a very long time. Now, Snowflake did make an announcement in mid-July that was pretty interesting. At the time, I didn't really know what to think of it. Now, recently, Trade Desk had their earnings call. And on the earnings call, an analyst asked a really interesting question about Snowflake. Now, this question was from an analyst to Jeff Green, the CEO of the Trade Desk on their most recent earnings call. Jeff, could you expand on the Snowflake UID integration? It sounds like something that could broaden your reach. So here's Jeff Green's reply. You bet. So I really appreciate the question because I think Snowflake adopting UID2 is one of the biggest headlines that happened to UID to date and not enough has been said about it. I don't think most people understand why it is so big. So first, let me remind everyone that UID2 is no longer a trade desk product. We did most of the early developing, but it's owned by the community. We've worked together with the open internet. It's open source at this point. So it is way bigger than us. And some proof of that adoption from companies like Snowflake so if you don't know Snowflake, what they do is make it really easy for you to manage your data. So in the same way that Wix is really easy for companies to build websites, Snowflake makes it really easy for companies to put their data to work. Now that had me intrigued a little bit because I was like, wait a minute, I never really put this all together. So I did some additional homework. I dove into the Snowflake website. I found a couple of other articles online and voila. It really hit me. This is something that's not talked about. I think it could be huge. You're gonna to wanna to see this video. Stay tuned. Okay, first guys, let's figure out how this all works. So how does the data sharing actually work with Snowflake? This is a really good diagram. This is from Snowflake right from their website, the documentation section of their website. So how does secure data sharing work? This is really important. So with secure data sharing, no actual data is copied or transferred between accounts. All sharing is accomplished through Snowflake's unique services layer and metadata store. In addition, because no data is copied or exchanged, Secure data sharing setup is quick and easy for providers and access to the shared data is instantaneous for consumers. So the provider creates a, sh a share of a database in their account and grants access to specific objects in the database. The provider can also share data from multiple databases as long as these databases belong in the same account. One or more accounts are then added to the share, which can include your own accounts if you have multiple Snowflake accounts. So on the consumer side, a read-only database is created from the share. Access to this database is configurable using the same standard role-based access control that Snowflake provides for all objects in the system. So why is this so important? Through this architecture, Snowflake enables creating a network of providers that can share data with multiple consumers, including within their own organization, and consumers that can access shared data from multiple providers. So take a look at the diagram below. And you can see the providers and you get the consumers. You basically can control what you want to share and what you share share is read only. Another diagram here. So what is a share? Shares are named Snowflake objects that encapsulate all the information required to share a database. Each share consists of all these privileges, the privileges that grant access to the database, privileges that grant access to specific objects in the database, the consumer accounts in which the database objects are shared. So why is this important? What does it all mean? And how does it relate to digital advertising? Okay, so Unified ID 2.0. Now, if you follow the channel, you've heard me talk about this before. It was a reason for the trade desk selling off earlier in this year, a couple months back, because Google announced that they're taking away cookies and people are just, they have a lot of questions and uncertainty around this Unified ID 2.0. So how does this all relate when you think of Snowflake and trade desk? So Snowflake has committed to UID 2.0. So when you think of Snowflake, guys, it typically sits on top of a company's cloud infrastructure. So Snowflake sits on top of Amazon Web Services, AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google's cloud platform, as well as others. So Snowflake layers in services or manages data within a company's infrastructure. And it can really do it through multiple cloud platforms. Now, because Snowflake is a hub for many companies' customer and identity graphs, it's in a great position to match and recombine data sets. These can now be translated directly into Unified ID 2.0. So when you think of the walled gardens, you think of the AWS, the Googles, the Microsofts, they're doing something similar. So listen to this, the walled gardens are doing the same thing. Google, for instance, built ads data hub. 
the Analytics and Ads Server Data Hub. And Ads Data Hub is actually part of GCP, that's Google Cloud Platform, not Google's ad tech business. AWS from Amazon is likewise building out marketing and ad tech data services within its cloud platform. Now this is a quote from Bill Stratton, and he's the head of Snowflake's media advertising and technology vertical. But those two cloud services, talking about AWS and Google Cloud Platform, tend to focus exclusively on data within their own platforms and are tied to media and audience data owned by Google and Amazon. This means the data can't be extracted or used for enrichment. For companies that use Snowflake on top of their cloud infrastructure, Stratton said the integration opens up direct data on onboarding and matching opportunities. For example, Disney and NBC Universal, two Snowflake customers, could analyze their first party data alongside an advertiser's first party data without the restrictions that would be involved using Google Ads, Data Hub, or Amazon Redshift. So essentially what it's saying is that Snowflake could make it really easy for vendors to advertise on platforms like the Trade Desk. Now here's a really great quote again, guys. Listen to this. The UID2 product doesn't use a honeypot of centralized data like other advertising ID platforms, says Bill Michaels, the Trade Desk GM of product. That means Snowflake is a valuable partner because it opens up access to data where the raw data is actually housed by many advertisers and publishers within the cloud vendor. Now, Trade Desk is actually also a customer of Snowflake. Another quote, whether you're a brand, a publisher, a data provider, an identity graph provider, or any company that houses data and does analytics, there's a good chance they use Snowflake's product. The data is sitting there. So let's make it dead simple to adorn it with UID2. I'm about to give you my final thoughts on this. Now, if you do like this video, please hit the like button, drop me a comment. It helps the algo, helps me out more than you guys realize. I do appreciate the support. If you are new to the channel, have not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Click that little bell to get notifications. Also, you probably already know that Snowflake and the Trade Desk are two of my high conviction stock picks. So I have a top 25 high conviction stock pick list that you can get access to on Patreon. You can sign up for any tier and get access to a 30 minute video that gives you all the companies, all the tickers, all the breakdowns granularly by moat, by management, by safety score, actually break down and give you granular rankings for each of these categories for each company. There's 29 total companies a 30 minute video jam packed with information. But again, guys, you can get access by joining any Patreon tier it's a really great value. You're getting a lot of good information. So I definitely encourage you to check it out. There's only a few seats left. Without further ado, let's get into my final thoughts. All right, guys, to wrap this up and kind of put it all together and share my thoughts. You know, I've been talking about this for a little while. I made a couple of different videos talking about connecting industries and sharing data. I think it can be really powerful and I wanna give some examples here. So some of the benefits, guys, companies can create tighter and more valuable relationships between their business units, partners, and customers. Now, when you hear that and you think about the Trade Desk and Snowflake, so the Trade Desk is a customer of Snowflake and they have a lot of customers like Disney, like NBC and so on. And you think about those partnerships and how you can leverage those partnerships to create better ads, essentially taking data. So taking data analytics and being able to analyze and trying to match ads that are more powerful or more beneficial to the organizations I think this could be a game changer and there's not really anybody else that's targeting this other than Snowflake. So are there other vendors that could do this? Yes, but if you're already using Snowflake and it's sitting on top of AWS or, or Google Cloud Platform or Azure, it's very simple now for you to kind of connect these industries together. Seamlessly and securely share data across clouds and regions, also with partners and other companies and it's read only, you can choose which data is seen by those partners, it's very powerful stuff. So we've been talking about the Snowflake data marketplace, and I think this is gonna be a huge total addressable market long-term for them. ServiceNow has an integration in development, that's gonna be a game changer. They're continued to expand the set of providers and the data, try before you buy experience in development, I think that'll be huge too, because somebody can try it before they buy it and get kind of hooked and see the value of it. Purchase data instantly on the marketplace, also in development. They're doing a lot of things. They're building a lot of capabilities around this. There's a quote here from Andy Marcus. He's the chief data officer for AT&T. Snowflake data sharing and marketplace capability 
really enable us to meet that vision of democratizing that data and liberating the data across our enterprise. I think this is really powerful stuff. Of course, I own the Trade Desk and I own Snowflake, so I thought this was a really powerful video to bring to the community. If you like this video, please hit the like button, drop a comment. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, hit the little bell to get notifications. I appreciate your time and attention. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.